everybody. Uh, I know Renato here. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. And um, I think I'm going to do exactly what the name and title is supposed to be doing. Is that I'm going to vlog uh, something I normally don't do. Which is a day to day. So um, this is going to be a very raw vlog. And uh, the plan for today was... Well actually, uh, I woke up this morning. Um, had to go on a conference call for work. Uh, the girlfriend had made me some coffee, actually, Dalgona coffee. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, and, uh, I had cut it with, uh, with some tea I made earlier. And, um, yeah, so the plan for today is actually, uh, well, I'm actually going to do some, uh, exercising and then, uh, maybe a little bit of a workout. And then as I'm going to actually cut my hair today. So, um, uh, in case you were wondering, this is a cloth that I'm going to be using that my mom, um, had given me. So yeah, the, that cloth of what they use at hair salons is mostly, or, or barbershops is basically like a polyester material. So that's the mission for today. Um, try to, I'm going to try to, bleh, this is not a very good introduction. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I should be addressing a lot more important things. Like, I hope everyone's okay. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's healthy. And these very, very strange times, I hope that uh, we all can find solace in that, in the fact that this will hopefully uh, soon be a memory. And um, yeah, so we're going to do a little quarantine vlog. Oh, a little update. My desk is actually clean, so I'm pretty excited about that. Finally got around to fixing, organizing... It, it looks a little bit like a hodgepodge, but there is a me there's a method to this madness. So there's the desk. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to take you on a little bit for a ride through my day on my day today. Um, as of the recording of this video, it is Monday the 26th, 27th. Oh, sorry, the 27th. <laughs> and I do, um, I'm doing like a 100 day push-up challenge. So I'm going to try to get through that today or at least... 60% of it, which is basically 60 push-ups. And uh, I do half because um, I'm still trying to work on my uh, overall health and overall strength to get there. But progress is better than none. So uh, let's get to it. Let's get to today. Okay, so now that I've worked up a sweat, I don't think you guys can see it. Yeah, a little glisten. Okay, so now that I've worked up a sweat, got a little bit of a workout in. Um, I'm gonna put away this yoga mat and uh, we're gonna go cut my hair and I'm gonna be using uh, a very, very, very small <laughs> trimmer because I don't actually have clippers. And uh, I'm gonna take you along for a rest time. I'm a lot out of breath gonna take you along and uh, show what the process looks like so let's go into the bathroom and we're gonna cut the cut this all off so all right see you in a bit all right so here we are in the bathroom here we go um, Got my little very small clipper on and uh, scissors and uh, this is the material that my mom gave me and probably just to protect the back if anything back here so I don't get too much hair um, and hopefully try to catch it so here's good luck not much there on top but that's okay just more trimming on the sides and uh, we'll see how it goes Yep, 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 yep. 
Okay, so we're just about done. Didn't really need the scissors, but at least it was something I could have. And um, this is kind of how it looks. Um, it's, I went for short. That's basically what I wanted to do. Left a little bit on top for whatever I had left. And um, I wear mostly a hat anyways, for the most part, just because uh, I got nothing to work with up there, um, which is totally fine. I, I'm at an age where I can be actually comfortable to say that. And um, second time around is not so bad. I think I got a little bit better with actually doing and catching whatever it is that I wanted to get. Um, it's not pr it's not going to be super, super perfect, but that's okay because in the long run, it's going to grow back. My hair tends to go back pretty quickly, even though it's very thin. Um, so yeah, so uh, we're going to clean this all up and then we're going to go back into the room and then we're going to see how see what the girlfriend thinks. I might even take this off too. Should I leave the scruff on or take the scruff out? Uh, you guys can comment down below. Probably going to do a little bit more evening out uh, just so, um, you know, it's presentable and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, do I condone shaving your own head? Probably not. Um, for most of you, that's going to be a no. Uh, but for the people, you know, who are quarantining and don't really mind and, you know, wants to cut their hair off, I'd say do it. Why not? Within reason. Everything in moderation, of course. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That's the haircut. Uh, probably going to even this out a little bit. We'll see you guys back in the room. And uh, go about my day, or the rest of my day, as this is kind of like a very raw vlog. So, uh... Go. Okay, so this is it. This is the final product. Um, pretty much did a lot of evening out uh, so I can get it the way that I want it to be done. Um, and uh, yeah, it took a lot less time than the first time I did it. The first time I did it, it took me like at least like an hour. And um, and I'm happy with the way it came out. I mean, I know for a fact that my, my hair personally grows out really, really fast. So like in about a week's worth, I probably may have to consider waiting a couple more days and doing it all over again. Um, but yeah, I mean, have I gone a little bit nuts with all of this going on? And now for the fact that we're, um, we've been indoors for quite a bit now. Sorry about the birds there. Chirping, they're chirping away. Anyway, um, yeah, so we've been in, we've been indoors for quite a bit now, and I don't know what week it's been. It's been such a long time uh, that uh, it cares to stand that, yeah, being indoors can be really, really challenging, expect, especially for an expended amount of time. And a lot of us who are very, very fortunate, as I consider myself to be, have that luxury to stay home, and there's a lot of people who can't um, stay home and protect themselves and um, much respect to all the essential workers who are out there volunteering and doing uh, leaps and bounds beyond what the normal citizen would be able to do and have that responsibility to cover. So my, my thanks to you guys. You guys are the real heroes, honestly. And um, yeah, this is a raw vlog. I wanted to take you indoors, of course. And um, <laughs> show what my day look like, I guess. I mean, I don't know if you guys like this type of content, but uh, you know, comment below if you guys liked it. And um, uh, probably gonna do some work, uh, catch up a little bit on home homework, um, as well as um, edit all of this stuff in and hopefully get it to you out uh, by today and hopefully brighten your day as well as uh, an, an honest to God, an honest to God's truth. Uh, you don't have to look on the positive side of things all the time, and that's totally okay. I think mental health is really, really important, and it's important to feel that your feelings out and not just to um, either shrug it off or internalize it way too much. Um, do something creative, express yourself, sing, dance, exercise. Uh, if, it's, if it's something that can help you uh, find a way to control whatever it is that you feel you don't have control of, don't feel guilty at all um just because you're doing the best that you can and that's all that we could ever ask for i am optimistic that this will at some point be so much as return to normalcy but we will get through it uh together i love you all stay safe <laughs> uh see you guys on the next vlog peace out